Hello, welcome everyone to Yishan, the cultivation card game. I'm your host, Rock Dam, and today we're gonna be playing the crane lady in the top lane. Uh I'd like to use this power tail. Okay, good. That's actually not enough to use it. Right? Let's see if we can get Sure. Well thank you. Alright. So I prefer to absorb cards rather than combine them. Especially with this lady, because it allows us to get ahead uh, in cultivation so much more. So the usual trick with this is use her super skill or her basic skill super effectively. So you don't combine cards that will not be in your final build or not helpful in your final build. Ouch. And we somehow won our first fight. That's actually... Um, not sure what to go. Musician is usually good. Fulius is also rather nice. But I'll just go random, see what we can get. Okay, cool. Do I want to roll? I think so. Right now, the goal is to get dotted around or something good. If it's nothing good, we can put them away right now. There is another tactic where I'll never... Uh, I'll not absorb cards until I have enough to break through, which helps me get other cards in the process. That is a very feasible. I could play Gar Spirit Fulu and Thunder Fulu and just make it a two, two turn hit eventually, but that's not. Easy. So this is a slow start, ouch, but on the second loop we do we deal 11, 22 damage, which is usually enough to kill people. We survived that. Oh my god, we actually lost because we built deep. That is so inconvenient for us. Alright, uh, let's use our rolls, maybe we can get more dotted arounds, exactly. This. I think 8 damage is better. Let's absorb this. Breakthrough. Only traces fixes any cheap problems we can get in the future, so we'll just get that one. And we'll do it this way. Not the best, but. It does make it quick. So I'll only absorb the. I'll, I'll, I'll. Oh my god, I need to speak. Speak, my man. So absorb. Uh, combining Delta the round will help once I have a fully upgraded one. Otherwise, it's just better cheap. And you never know, sometimes you'll get. Um, the Calmness Sisidorma, the one that heals, and the game just switches from star power to some. Be different. Let's see. I usually end up having difficulties in endgame situation with this lady. But simply because I'm not exactly sure my setup is correct. God, please don't hurt me. Okay, good. Yeah, this shit <laughs> uh, makes life difficult to choose if I'm in the right path or not. This tool is not the best, not the worst, but it's kind of a useless card, I'll be honest. I guess it's better than nothing. So right now we're not really absorbing to get ahead, 
but it will eventually happen. I'm very careful about what I find so we don't lose our cultivation. The extra six health does help. Having two astral move flank is so much damage. And it's gonna happen really fast as well. With only traces and still a sit out of the way and the sharp middle. I don't think I can play. I can play it here. Just so much better. Let's roll. And I'll have both. That'd be difficult. Could do it this way. Then let's roll and try to get a dotted around. Please. Beautiful. So now that we have a fully upgraded dotted around, I'm gonna do the due diligence. And uh but I need something at the very end, which is not hard. <laughs> This is very useless, but it's okay. So right now we got we get an extra healing from dotted around and only traces. But the two extra star power does make a difference. Right. How this works? Ouch. We are healing and dealing damage. But, oh. It's uh, it's the Aerotexi ground fault, I think. But to be fair, we didn't have a better option. Uh, let's break through again. And uh, I think. Starting with one chi is not going to be that big of a deal, but Birdwind could be. Uh, let's try to get a good card. Better. So much better. what I mean by getting ahead sometimes I'm still not sure about combining fire cloud but it probably is the right decision probably the right decision to just get further ahead of the current setup I have. Well, I feel pretty strong right now the mixture of healing and damage if I lose by four health it's completely my fault uh, I feel okay. Ouch. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Her win animation is a bit cringy, but it's good. It is very good. We have to make a decision if Hunter becomes Hunter. Uh, Hunter became Prayer is a definite card. I could also combine my Ash Remove Hit and move the Ash Remove Bank up there. Let's do it. I feel like uh, it's useful enough. And I feel like Ash Remove Flank 6 damage is not better than. Prayer. I could combine them. That is a method, but it's unlikely to make uh, make it worthwhile my time. So good. 
We are at max uh, setup, technically. Right? <laughs> they actually survived because of uh, me not becoming the best prey or the best hunter. Act. But we did win, which is quite good. Stock power plus two slot. Fired. Very much required. This will add 4 star power to these two attacks, which also means this will do so much more damage in the setup. Okay, this is just have to. It's have to do. So much more healing. I feel so much better. Get 8 health and we won defense. Even our Starry Moon does give us jump. The next application of Starry Moon actually gives us 2 chi. Really beautiful. Die, please. Should upgrade our Astro Move flank. I think I'll do it. I think it's. Important. Question is, are we going into? I mean, currently we're relying on still a Sita. Getting an extra star power and destiny is sounds like a very nice setup. Getting two astral moves help with the damage. I'm getting a Torptuous Omen here. So I think starting with one star power is going to help with the Proctorous Woman activating properly, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, thank you. Not bad. Okay. So far we're not using any hexagram. It might be difficult to get to it. So I'll combine this. This will increase our damage by... Two, four damage technically gives us a little bit of healing. <laughs> Take your time, my friend. Take your time, my friend. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Five star power. He had, my hit is really good. And now you lose all your max health and some of your. Good. A revitalize could work because I do get a lot of healing with this setup. I believe revitalize will deal more than 15 damage. Maybe not on the first loop, but the second is definite. It's also scaling. Uh, we're not going Thunder Hexagram. We need four cards, so we'll just throw these away. Roll this one. Ace. Okay. Th this looks important. So now that we have our Astral Wolf I, we can slowly move out of Simicida at max level and go uh, the Dharma one. One method of getting really quickly up there is just absorbing every card that we get, so we can get it. extra cultivation. Study Heart basically is uh, 
you get more cultivation of like 10% or 15% more than other people. So naturally, we should be ahead by two parts. We picked right. Problem. Our second loop is disgusting, much stronger than the first, especially with two chases. Oh, let's see, does this deal 15 damage? Deal 13, okay. It's a minor damage uh, reduction, but if we somehow end up going for more than one loop, the scaling effect. Don't have any hexagram. The lightning is also good. It's really useful without any hexagram. Again. This would technically deal more damage than Astral would apply, but it's a bit lower. I could play it here and hope for two fives, sevens. That doesn't seem right. I'll get a Proctrius Omen next uh, turn, probably. It's cheap to cheap plus two at three stacks. So I'll have to play Starry Moon for it. Where I play the potion moment to make sure that my star power is ahead. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, I guess. <laughs> Hope you've had a good day. So we're doing really good damage right now. And with the Starry Moon, we need to upgrade this card. That would be very useful. Everything else can wait. He has a very similar idea to me, but... Oh my god, he's gonna get his big hit before me, so... He's gonna win. Oh, he did not. Bad. Listen, these are very good cards, it's just not a setup that I can take advantage of. Well, let's break through first, and think about what's left. Break through. We can start with 3 chi, that would really stop our ability. Rejuvenation could make it a very good healing build, but we're not really... We could go, but I think damage is better. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is so much more. We call it so much more star power than I would expect. Second, this, and Oh, this is not working. No, oh no, oh no. It's... Okay, this turn I'm gonna probably lose. Because I'm not really sure what the hell we're supposed to do here. But next turn for sure, I'm gonna do something good. But we have five star. Should be getting so much more. Ah, okay. Because we got one chi from here. That is a bit disgusting. Uh, I was completely uh, left blank. I'm like, what's happening? 
which is why I'm probably losing this very badly. I did not account for this. Okay. Uh, it could be useful if we're using Stillness Set of Dharma, but that was not our goal. Very unfortunate. Uh, this is a really, like, 25% max HP in the start. Doesn't sound bad. At all. Uh, this will go into G. That's not you. This will go into... We... It's very weird that everything gives me chi right now. So my hope was this will go into one. Right? So one plus two. Just three. Oh god, yeah, that's not work. Still gives me chi. Everything gives me chi. Okay. I made it worse, but it's, it's an attempt. I guess if I put Probe Juice Um in here, we should not really get chi. Don't understand it. No, we actually got top power here because we start with one stack of it so this is three stacks five stacks be fine let's see if i can put the cars in a different order Uh, it doesn't help getting so much star power if I cannot get my uh, Sita Dharma working. Alright, thank you. Please give me my starting power. Oop. Can I get this? I need Polaris so badly. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we just have to trust that this is a there is a chance of us uh, surviving. So we're gonna play two stillness Sita, and in the process, if this switches to Chi, we're gonna be fine. Problem. And this is gonna switch to right? No, it's not because we only add plus two. Perfect. Of course, this chase isn't fetch another chase is not very ideal. But it's still a good amount of healing. Where is my Polaris? There it is. Finally. 
This is two, three star powers. I can just do this to get seven. Then I could ace into this guard. Ace again into here. Yep. Then I can end it with Soul Wrecking. Right? Okay, we're not playing River Hunter, Hunting Hunter. A good upgrade. Everything is a chase card. Works. I'm expecting good things now. So right now, we're going to be moving quick. The so one, two, three. On my second loop, it's going to be real, really quick. On the first loop, we should be just strong. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, right, let's... Works, we're at 10 star power. There's a lot of defense. I'm glad I removed all his defense. It's not very useful at the very end. I had more hopes for this. But yeah, 17 star power. Should be fine. Goodbye. Much better. I'm not even sure. I don't know if I can play it though. Playing the Astro Move Tiger so that I can get to play the Astro Move Pit. This is more damage. Uh, if this comes to stacks of weekend, I might move it upward. Let's go. I think I'm pretty set up. Uh, I don't know if I can win, but I feel good. Ouch, he's playing a poison too. Hopefully we can do something before he crushes my soul. The weakening. Please weaken his big attack so we don't die instantly. He doesn't kill us. I think we kill him. Good. We overkill him actually. Second astral. The, we cannot use Heaven Hexagram, badly. A good upgrade. And a better card. Is there a way for me to kill in the first, like, kind of... Because we start with like 8 star power, which is pretty good. This is only 2 star power. But 
We need the cheat. Blacking it. It is better for damage, but I think I need to survive this shit. So I'm not sure if I can wait that long. I'm not even sure if we can board as a move hit. Maybe we should just play two tigers, but I believe if we can survive this hit, we can somehow kill him. Timeline. Let's see. We're going first, which is a very good sign. Because he's chasing into. Starting. If this works. Yep. He was weakened on his big hit. Which I'm very happy about. Now we get to 10 star power. He is still weakened, so we're not really in danger. Oh, we're rushing him. We still were safer that way, I think. This is so much better. So much. The extra one star power added like 12 damage to set up. Let's see if we can make something better. It's unlikely, I'll be very honest. Because I'm at the I'm at the point where I'm not sure if we can. Uh, we're playing against this guy. I don't like him. Um, I feel like we can him. One turn, turn three turn, four turns, five turn. Okay, we're, we're gonna get through. He needs at least five turns to activate all his setup. Not even sure if this, or we can just. Astral move uh, going first is gonna win us the game, probably. But if he hits with cool cloud chaos sword, we're probably dead. I need the extra chi that is let's go. Astral move tiger uh with the pin on his full cloud chaos sword should basically it equalizes the extra 40% of damage we will take guys okay we're going slow he's when he went really fast I really hate you I cannot stand you but okay at least we got our astral move tiger in place thank god this setup was pretty good. We survived with one health. <laughs> oh, this was meant to be. Okay, he survived with one health. Dude, that is disgusting. I don't like you so much. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, do we get this hurt? All right. Um. <laughs> He's gonna remove our Proptious Omen Chi, so I really don't feel like we need it as much. We could just Chi Chase with Divine Walk Fulu. Dead. Yep. is a much safer setup against whatever he's trying to do uh <laughs> i don't think there is a need for a fourth as removed tiger let's see if my setup is because he's changing a little bit but 
setup is not wrong. Okay, his setup changed, but see, I'm avoiding his uh, chi reduction. But his chi is so much right now. Ow, oh my god, let me kill him, please. Or we can have... Yeah, the two extra weekend should keep me alive. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky. All right. <laughs> uh, there was a jumbled up amount of emotions. But yeah, that was top spot with some... I was quite lucky this game, I'll be honest. The math was in my favor.